nashukuru sana. Kwa hivyo sasa nitamkaribisha mheshimiwa wa Beth aje kwa niaba ya Mugo family. Mheshimiwa wa Beth. Yes. On behalf of uh, the Mugo family, karibu sana Madam Senator. Thank you, the clergy, Mubi, my daughter, and the entire Gitaya family, friends of Professor Mishere, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I greet you all this morning. I thank God for this day when we celebrate such a famous a lovely human being, a daughter of the soil, of the Gedaes, and we share, and indeed, the world. You will allow me to ask my nephew, Mugo Rodero, to read my tribute, because I have a little problem with my eyes at the moment which I'm about to go through an operation. Mugo is the son of our eldest, my father and mother-in-law, eldest child, Murugi. So he is my father also, and he will read my tribute. Thank you. Can you help me get down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Good morning, church. In faint memory of the late Professor Michele Gedai Mogo, Kananyi na Wamobi, we gather here to honor Michele Gedai Mogo, a playwright, author, and the first female dean of arts at the University of Nairobi. Michele's relation to our family began in Boston, Massachusetts, when Joguna went to visit his cousin, Tievo, who is here, and Michele came from New Brunswick, Canada. That's how Michele met Joguna. Soon after the visit, Joguna and Michele came back to Kenya, and Joguna introduced his fiance to our family. The process of the usual procedural exchange with in-laws as per Gekoyo traditions were carried out. We found Michele to be a very warm person, down to earth and easy to bond with. Thereafter, in 1971, their wedding ceremony took place at this church where we are gathered. And my late husband, Abazida Nicholas Mogo, and I hosted a reception at our home. The Mogo family is privileged to have had Michele as a member of our family. We recognize Michele's overwhelming concern for the Mogos, 
not just by thoughts, but by action. I remember one incident when my late husband was undergoing medical treatment in Philadelphia, when Michelle and Mombi took time and drove all the way from Syracuse to visit us in Philadelphia. This encouraged my husband in his recovery. In addition, Michelle would join our family in our yearly reunion celebrations whenever possible. And when she happened to be in Kenya, she would always inquire by telephone and email about members of the family, starting with the eldest to the last born. And I quote, how is Murugi and her family, Dan and his family, Rehab and her family, Wadidia and her family, and Kamau's family? As for the ambassador's family, he is in constant touch with me, so I know, she would say. Such was her concern to the Mogo family and the wider Murada family. We also acknowledge how Michelle managed to single-handedly bring up Mobi and Jerry in a disciplined manner following their departure from Kenya for exile in Zimbabwe. I'm sure that is what has made Mobi the person she is today and what Jericho Mogo was. In spite of the distance occasioned by Michelle's exile status, the Mogo and the Givai families have maintained the bond and exchanged reciprocal visits to Barisho and Nairobi homes. Indeed, Michelle's brother, Dan Mutugi, whom I can see, and the late Dr. Mogo maintained a brotherly relationship and would make visits to Dr. Mogo's mother-in-law in Varisho. We take this opportunity to acknowledge the many tributes that we have received in Michelle's honor from friends, relatives, and in-laws, which unfortunately we could not incorporate in this tribute. Wangui Ngengi says, Aluta continua, she is here, and Dr. Kevadi will miss your praise. Mobi, we love you dearly, and we will always be there for you. You are named after the Mogo matriarch, our mother. Fare thee well, my beloved sister, and Moiru, Michelle Gedai Mogo, until we meet again, and pray that our loving Father grant you eternal rest. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Signed, Senator Dr. Beth Mogo, CBS EGH MP. Thanks, uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Beth, um, for that tribute. We welcome now Dr. Ida Gachuhia.